Welcome back, viewers. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our previous video on the Liberals' Green Fund scandal. Now, let's dive into the latest developments surrounding the scandal. The federal government branch, Sustainable Development Technology Canada, is managing the fund. A whopping $1 billion had whistleblowers exposing alleged many wrongdoings within the fund. After raising questions for so long, now finally the Ethics Commissioner is conducting a conflict of interest probe to get to the bottom of the matter. Industry Minister, Minister Francois Philippe Champagne, after being pressured by questions from Conservative Party members, still would not fire anyone or hold anyone accountable for mishandling or even stealing taxpayers' money. The moment after the Federal Ethics Commissioner announced he would investigate Varon's involvement in providing $38 million in pandemic relief funding to companies, the resignations started piling up. The government hired an external firm, Raymond Chabot Grant Thornton, to conduct an investigation of the allegations. This firm has no prior working relationship with SDTC. Their report is quite damning. Former CEO Lee Lawrence, chair and at foreign, followed the earlier departure of fellow. Director Jessica McDonald, who resigned from the STT board a week earlier, the cascade of resignations from three senior leaders at STTC in the wake of an investigation into misconduct raises many questions. What's even more telling is the wave of resignations among the top leaders appointed by the Trudeau government. The chairperson has stepped down, followed by the second chair and the director. What does this tell us? To me, it indicates that they can no longer sweep the issue under the rug. The evidence is mounting and on the verge of coming to light, and these leaders seem to be distancing themselves, unable to stop the truth from emerging. It's a significant turn of events, and it raises crucial questions about the integrity of the system and liberal government again. What are your thoughts? Share your opinions in the comments below.